Hey humans, it's your boy Smokey Hell Nelson, and we are back with another reaction video. Now, this one is a bit of a longer one, so I'm gonna make a very quick intro here, then we're just gonna jump right into it, and I'm gonna try as much as I can not to stop the video at one point in the entire thing. So, <laughs> fingers crossed, yeah, we go here. Uh, Y'all can start placing bets on how long it's gonna take me to crack. But, anyways. The artist we are covering today is one of my personal favorite artists to come out in the last 10 years, well, in North America anyways, um, Miss Billie Eilish. I am in awe of her talent, and uh, Phineas is in this uh, as well, so this is, this is pretty cool to see. I think this took place two years ago. It's uh, NPR, Tiny Desk Concert. Love these things, man. If you haven't checked them out, go check them out. Um, my personal favorite so far is the Anderson Pack one. I, ugh. He's so awesome. Anyways, without further ado, this is Billie Eilish, Tiny Desk Concert for NPR. Smoke Show! <laughs> Let's do it anyways. Uh, I Correct me if I'm wrong, but one of Billie Eilish's actual legit middle names is Pirate. Um... And when I kind of held the R on NPR, that reminds me of a, uh, of a terrible dad joke, which I'll now bestow upon you. What is a pirate's favorite letter? Give up? Ah, you think it's the R, but it's really the C. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. Whatever, I'm a dad. I can make dad jokes. Deal with it. All right, uh, here we go. Billy Eilish. <laughs> Your complexion to find your reflections all alone. I had to go. Oh, her voice is haunting and Oh, 
So obviously we are not actually at Tiny Desk because this is a uh, cardboard cutout of it. But it's still real. It's just not um, in-person real. Um, but I'm honored to be here. I've been watching these for years. We have both been watching them for years. Um, and yeah, uh, quarantine's been weird. I'm, I know you all feel the same. It's been weird. We don't know how long it's going to go. Um, there's barely anything that, that feels like um, there's any hope in, but I think Weird the future is, is something to be super hopeful in and, you know, the unknown and what is to come and, you know, just we'll be okay one day. Maybe not right now, but I think that's what has been making me hold on. So anyway, yes, yeah, so we're going to hop into Everything I Wanted, which is a song we wrote a while ago, I don't have to get into a crazy amount of detail about what the actual song lyrics are about, but overall, the kind of idea. Obviously, it's my brother Vinny, Phineas, Phineas, real, real <laughs> brother, and um, he's my best friend and always has been. And um, everything I wanted is basically about each other, and that you know we feel that we've always been there for each other, and. Um, I don't know. I think we all have or should have one person at least that makes us feel like we're never alone. Um, and that's finish. So, yeah. Should we sing it? Let's do it.
Watch that and not say she is a generational artist. I know it was only two songs, but like the. How do I put this? There are belters. There are soft spoken crooners. There are, there are many things. The power it takes to restrain yourself and still feel that power. When it seems like the vocals are almost an imperceptible whisper. That's the goods. That's the goods right there, man. I am a fucking fan. Never heard that fact. Wow. Shit. I mean, hats off if I was wearing one. Oh, there. there. <laughs> All right, y'all have yourselves a good day. Bye. Smoke show.